Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Kind of show you what I'm working on. Kind of go over a few little different things that I am putting together. Um, so first of all, let me start with this. I wanted to make a treasure chest and what I wanted to do was have some metal plates in between the wood grain and of course there'll be metal plates here as well and across the bottom which you can't really see very well. Um, <clears throat> so first let's go over the construction of this. I should have went with thicker thicker foam for this. Totally, totally should have. I didn't want to have to order order and then wait for it to come in so I just went ahead and used this. This stuff is four millimeter foam and it is definitely not as solid as I would like but for the fact of this is going to be more of a showpiece it's not really going to be something that other people are going to handle we'll go along for the ride with that what I did was I had a bunch of scrap pieces of this foam, which is the TNT cosplay supplies, um, 38 high density foam. It's very, very stiff. It doesn't have a lot of, I mean, it does go, but it's pretty stiff. And what I did was I made a frame on the inside here and went around using pretty much scrap pieces because this looks like garbage in here. And that's fine because like I said, nobody's really ever going to see this. So I made the box frame. I used in the uh, connection parts. I used the good old contact cement barge here to link all of that together. Once I did that, I went through and I took four millimeter foam here and measured my distance. And I didn't really care if, if it was going to be real clean because of the fact that I'm going to cover all of this with this foam and those will all get covered anyways, those joining spots. So the next thing that I did was once I figured out what I wanted to do as far as these metal, these will be metal and that'll be metal, 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 well look metal, won't be metal, but it'll look metal. I wanted to give a wood look to the panels that would be exposed this was all drawn in freehand i looked at a couple other people who had took and did foam wood crates and things like that to kind of get some ideas of the different textures and i'll probably of course, I'll plasti dip this to where it's all black and then come back and hit it with maybe some um, dark browns and then kind of give it a little bit of an airbrushing with some uh, smoky gray, some um, not really light gray, maybe kind of like that tone of gray there. But now what I have to do is take this and duplicate it here and then on the other sides of course now never built one of these and certain things dawned on me afterwards so a little thing off of my noodle was that if i took my metal strappings and then i held them up where they're going to be kind of covered it up drew my line 
So I have these lines here, so I know where the strapping is gonna go to. And then when I did my design with this uh, bronze Sharpie here, I kind of went a little bit past the lines where they were going to go in. So the metal strapping, I'll cover it and it won't just be this drastic sudden stop of any kind of wood texture. So the thing that I should have did was I should have not glued the corner pieces on so I could have gotten all the way over on this edge here. I mean, I did with the wood burner, but I also had to be really, really super careful with the wood burner to make sure that I didn't burn too much into the metal. Granted, I'll give the metal, or I keep calling it metal. It's not gonna be, it's not metal, but it's going to look metal. There we go. But I'll give this more of a hammered look afterwards. So, I'll duplicate this here, and then the other sides I have not done that with. The other sides are still very, very rough. Let me just turn this around. There we go. So this will be done the same way that is. This will end up being the front of the chest. Now, what will also be the thing is my friend here, will end up being put on here and I am going to make a keyhole on his forehead. So I might actually put him on the lid. I'm not sure. This is still work in progress here. I'll have to see what it looks like. But anyways, nonetheless, I'll put a keyhole in his forehead for the locking mechanism for this chest now granted it won't actually lock but it'll look pretty cool in my opinion and um we'll go from there so the wood burning i used a spade bit which looks like if I get the camera to focus a little bit, which it's apparently not going to. Ooh. Anyways, um, it is kind of like a teardrop looking bit. And on the very, very tip of it, go along and you do your burns and it's very, very good to get those images like that. So this is where I'm at with all of this. I kind of wanted to kind of just go through and kind of give you some of what I'm working on. Like I said, this is four millimeter foam. This is six millimeter foam or yeah, six millimeter foam. What was thicker around there for the metal and then I'll of course beat it up and make it look hammered overall very happy with how this looks so if this is your first time to the channel and you enjoyed seeing this and want to see what's coming next go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you got any questions by all means leave them down in the comment section below and I will see all of you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.